Right, I'm back for part three, ladies. I was just talking to you about this book. Um, I mean, some of the pages, well, all the pages. Are, look at this with the butterflies on. It's absolutely stunning. Um, so what I would probably do, I don't know, I could leave it as it is. And then add some real flower, you know, some um, artificial flowers to it and things like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I just thought absolutely stunning pages that there is in it. So we'll see. Maybe one of you have got an idea for it. And if you have, let me know and I'll send it to you. You know, I paid um, a pound for the book. Uh, so it's still well worth it, isn't it? But if you want it and you can do anything with it, let me know. I don't mind at all. You know, you might want to take the pages out and, and put them in another book somewhere or whatever. But if you want that, let me know. Uh, I got it. What I'm doing is, if I see anything I think somebody might want, um, I might as well get it. Before it. I look at it like this. If it falls in the wrong hands and they destroy it or they leave it or they ruin it, you know, when we when crafters can actually do something with it, then I'll buy it. Um, and if I don't use it, I know somebody will. Somebody else will. Because crafters can do anything. When I say anything, they can they can put their hands to an awful lot and uh, turn nothing into something. Um, and even beginners, once you start, you get the ideas, go for it. Because that's when you're creative at your best. That's when I find anyway. So if you're interested, let me know. Anyway, that was a pound. So now, look at these. On here it says £6 for the box and all the, uh, the tags and it's also got a note, it says London Transport Bus Tickets, British Rail Tickets, 50s and 60s uh, and 30 Bethnal Green, Liverpool, Birmingham, Birmingham uh, Rail Tours and I thought, well the tickets will come in handy, you know, and they will, there's quite a few in them. And when we sell, in, in the UK, when you uh, go to buy anything that's vintage, you pay through the nose for it, I'll tell you that now. We will pay a lot more than anybody else will pay for, for vintage material. So, um, you know, these are, what did it say, the 50s and 60s tickets. And like I say, it says £6 on the box and I picked that up for £4. Um, and there's loads, absolutely loads of them. So, um, yeah, I won't miss up a bargain if I can help it. So, I got those. You know, you can, you know, you can uh, not smell it. Well, you can smell them, but you know, and it's like dust up your nose. I'm going to twitch my nose now. Right, let's have a look. Right, I found this stall that had this. Oh, some more of them flowers. Look, some more of them flowers. Ooh, that'll do. Keep them coming. And it says a pound on the card, and I did pay a pound for it. And it's chocolate brown. It's like elastic, but it'll do for nice edging along uh, along the edge of a tag or a book. You know, put some nice lace below it or underneath it hanging out. So, I mean, there's loads, absolutely loads of it for a pound. Pound for the card. So I've got that. Now. Oh, I've got to show you this. My grandson's doing um, a project on Vikings. And uh, he saw this and he went, Nanny, Nanny, he says, that'll be fantastic for, for school. Can I have it? Can I have it? And they charge us two pound fifty. It's made, it is pots, uh, glazed pots. So uh, we bought him that for school. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a little dish, and it says weighed. So for two pound fifty, we didn't do bad, because you do get you do get some bargains, and that's proper weighed uh, porcelain made in England. So well worth that for him, and that's his uh, little um, project at school sorted. I managed to get him another smaller one, a little silvery, like a pewter one as well, for 50p. So he's got them for school. I thought I'd show you that. I don't want to break that, it'll go bananas. Right, let's have a look, see what we've got here. Oh, hang on. Some more of those flowers in red. Um, now, I'm just going to get this bag and show you this lot. Oops, it is it. You'll have to bear with me a minute, ladies. Let me just check I've got everything. 
Yeah, that's everything out of that bag. Right, let's have a look. Oh, some more lace. 20 pence it's got on it. 20 pence. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? For 20p. Good metre of that. Um, I managed to get some more tarot cards, you know, for tags. And he charged me 50 pence for this. 50p, and there's all of those. They're ideal for um, tags. Cover them with some paper. In fact, you don't need to cover that side. Just cover that. And that'll do. So I've got all those. We can always decorate the box and use that for something else. I've got to say, my husband did spend as well this today. He, he is good, isn't he? Right, you're going to laugh at this, but um, don't. Because <laughs> I found these. And at first I thought, oh, are they hat pins? Oh, but they're not, actually. You know those little skewers, them little things you take your pickles out with and everything? And I saw those and I thought, right, I can chop the end off. I can file it down to a point and use them very similar with other things, other beads in that, as um, hat pins. See? Or you can do all sorts if you put your mind to it. So I got those, and those were 50p. I then found this. This was the first stall we walked to, was this. That's why it's at the bottom of the bag. Look. <laughs> I thought, I don't want the beads. Well, the beads will come in handy, but look. Isn't it cute? Like a little Buddha. <laughs> With his hat on. I like that. Look. Some writing at the back. Um. Uh, that was 50 pence now you see i'm i'm looking i'm starting to look at brass <laughs> ornate stuff so i found this like a fork but it's, it's so ornate i thought oh yeah that'll somebody will want it if i don't thought that was nice that was 50 pence i think they look nice on books and a few flowers and things like that I found these, and my husband found this. It's like a pin of a little ballerina. I don't know why. <laughs> Bless him. Never mind. Um, I got two of these, which I'm going to split. I'll just chop them in down between the beads. And um, that will go nice across a tag. You know, laid across a tag. Yeah. So I always look for them now. Uh, another one, a gin one, like I say, you can cover up the word gin, and but then you have an ornate, um, look, play, I mean, you put somebody's name across there, so it's in an ornate thing, and then stick that to the book. I can't remember, I think that was about 20 pence. This brooch, that was 10 pence. Just take the back off and then glue that to something. Actually, that would look nice with some nice dangly beads, you know. Put some dangly beads on it. That'll look nice. Then I found this. So I got it for the charms mainly and the beads. Uh, and that was 20 pence. A little bracelet for 20 pence. Oh, not bad. Um, this one, two little brass hearts on it. And like a butterfly with um, diamanted in it. And that was 10 pence. Um, what's this one? I got this for the hearts, but they're only plastic hearts. But uh, she was only selling it for thirty pence, and I thought, oh well, the hearts will come in handy somewhere. So um, got that one with the hearts on. Put some nice glass beads with that, with one of them and whatever. And then this one um, was fifty p. Now, like I say, I'm trying to look out for more of these because at one time these were all everybody was wearing them. So look how many charms you've got on there. Gorgeous um, ornate bead there. Lots of little beads. And a fan. Oh, two fa three fans. Oh, no, and it's a leaf. A leaf and two fans. So that wasn't bad, was it? So that's that. They're getting scarcer and scarcer to find them because I think everybody's buying them. Right, let's have a look. <coughs> what else did we get? Oh, some of the uh, these are gorgeous. Little diamante buttons, look. And those diamante buttons. Nice for 